Hi, Slay Let's UK, and this is another Random Dreamer Showcase. I pulled a name out of the hat, and I got Jammer Sonar. So, uh, if you want to be um, in the hat for a chance to have your stuff shown as a, a showcase, uh, then please let me know in the comments on this video, and I will add your name to the hat. Uh, I'm hoping to do the one a week. So... Uh, here we go. Right, Jammer Sonar then. Uh, art and design, it says, and a level 105. So I thought he was relatively new, but looking at it, he's been with Dreams since beta and has created quite a lot of stuff. So I'm, I'm not quite sure how you managed to keep such a low uh, level uh, making so many things. I guess um, playing is what you need to be doing. Playing as well as making, and that uh, that will increase your level really quickly. Right, let's get to the very, very end. The very, very start. It's a pity we haven't got the option to reverse this feed so that we can see um, the oldest first. But um, Medium Molecule haven't provided that service. So we have to scroll all the way to the end to see oldest thing first. Now, um, it says here 19th of December 2018. So he was right at the beginning. Um, and... Um, Apart from the high that we've got here, um, the first thing he made that I would say was a, a proper attempt at making something is this called Cabin. And first of all, before I go into it, I'd like to say that is a very nice thumbnail. Making a really decent thumbnail really helps uh, attract people to your level. This is a very nice one that looks very pretty. So we'll go in and uh, it's just a little diorama of a hut and they've used paint effects uh, to create this little scene. That's all it is and to be honest uh, in December 2018 that was what we were making <laughs> because um, Dreams was new, there was no assets, uh, there was no tutorials and um, we were all learning how to uh, use the tools. But very nice looking uh, thumbnail there. Right, going on, um, we've got um, a series of audio visual things uh, where they've put in. Don't, I'm not sure whether it's music they've made themselves or if they've got it from the Dreamverse, but um, um, some odd visualizations, shall we say that? So we've got Into the Sun. I think he meant Into the Sun. Um, so let's just rewind it. It's a little animation. I say music, it's just a series of very odd sounds and this ball comes along, it's very mis mysterious but again this is this is very early on and uh, this is all about experimentation so a lot of people do this, they experiment with stuff and um, and make things like this which has got no why more reason? It's like, what is this? Who knows? We're in the depths of the weirdiverse here. Um, weird music, weird visuals. It's all very strange. Here we go. And it starts again. Interesting though. And um, and as as somebody just starting out, it's all these audio visuals here um, trying out different techniques different sculpts different effects remixing other people's stuff um, here we've got Outpost 7A so they've gone with um, an artwork here so this is just uh, a scene now as you can see my imp is um, front and centre. Now if you're making an artwork like this it's a really good idea to hide this imp and it is really simple. All you do is grab a global settings gadget, stamp it down, go to the second tab and click off the imp and that's it. You won't get any imps showing in your artwork. So this is what you really, really want to see like this. Okay so if you're making artwork or animation you want to get rid of this imp Global settings tool is your friend. There we go. So, um, lots of experiments. Experiments with fire there. Mists. There's a road uh, with uh, a robot at the end of it. 
So you see the progression immediately from from early on. It's very soft. We got we got something a little bit more defined now. And the imp has gone. You see? There we go. That also helps. Some piano music. I don't know if you made it or not. Uh, a lot of the music that he's using in in these audio visuals is by JB Photo, and he does say. Uh, who made the music in in some of these, but these are early ones, I'm not sure whether he made the music himself or not. This all feels very experimental, like he's trying the tools out, trying things out. I don't think he made this music, this seems very familiar. Um, these are all tests and everything. Now, the problem with everybody getting dreams and then, and then and launching up these experiments is it's it's not something that people are really going to like. You can see the numbers on these five, three. Um, here's his uh, ancient temple um, imp quest game. One one thumb up. Um, you'll get one thumb up pretty much on everything. There, um, there we go. The Toronto Mayor MFU two thumbs up everything. So um, you see something with one thumb up, you can probably guarantee it's Toronto Mayor and his thumbing. There we go. <laughs> um, but then you get something like this. This has got eleven thumbs up. So this is a bit more interesting to people. This is called Acid Web. Let's have a look at this. This is experiments with colour. So an audio visualizer. Um, he's drawn something, I think, with the mirror tool or the kaleidoscope tool, both. And it's just a weird soundscape with sound and music and pictures and colour. So very, very experimental Jamasona. Um, lots of his stuff is very experimental. Um, things like Pain Center. This started out as an omitted jump effect after I watched a Tap Jars tutorial, but it ended up down this dark rabbit hole. So um, I've noticed uh, quite a few comments that he's he's watched a few tutorials from other people and it's really good to um, to check out the tutorials that other dreamers have made even if you're not making that stuff it might inspire you to make something else while you're experimenting experimenting is the key in dreams for actually doing really well again another weird soundscape with color and and objects and paintings and stuff um, Keep going, moving on, moving on. Uh, this one looks more of the um, your basic landscape there that people do with the water effects. It's a good water effect there. Uh, again, a good thumbnail. Um, here we've got light box sky it's like what is this ah that's a very pretty um skyscape moving there fits well with the music If you're a musician and, and um, you've made a piece of music, if you want people to hear it, it is best to make it into a dream or get somebody to make a visualisation of your of your music. Um, otherwise it won't get played at all because uh, as an element, things very rarely get played. So things like this, these little visualisers of just random flecks of colour, um, it's basically all you need really to 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 get your music out there um it's a good idea to put in a uh, a timer thing so people know how long your piece of music is that also helps um but these sort of things these visualizers they they can be really very useful for 
uh, musicians. I don't know if any of these are available. Uh, these are all just dreams, so they're not available um, to be remixed. Um, this is this is a very interesting uh, design, very artistic. Is it from the Dreamverse? Very interesting. It's very much a like a uh, modern art piece that somebody might have on their wall. It's very good. Very pretty. Um, it really does look like a, a bit of modern art, that. Um, here's another bit of modern art. He's very good at the thumbnails, Jamasona. I think I think he's got that sussed. He's got a, he's got an eye for a good aesthetic thumbnail. Um, he's entered a few um, game jams, and uh, this was Into the Woods Community Jam. So this is um, I don't remember that being a game jam. Is that something that was in the community? There we go. I don't know what they are. Aliens. Peas. Alien peas. <laughs> there we go. Um, what else have we got? We've got a character model here. We haven't seen any of that so far. It's been mostly scenes. There we go. Can't move or anything. It's just uh, a showcase of a character model. And a little, little voice. It's quite nice. I'd like to see that moving around, actually. Uh, more visualizers, more interesting. I mean, what is this? Mmm, pixel effects. Very interesting. He's used all the global effects there to make it all pixelized and uh, mixed up. Who knows what's going on in the background, but it's an interesting effect for a music video. There you go. I hope this has given some people some ideas for their audiovisual presentations of their um, music. Here's another one. Music by JB Photo. Okay, so he's got himself an ident. Good idea to keep your idents as short as possible. People will come to see the dream and not your ident. And if they're going through your back catalogue and they see your ident over and over and over, they're going to go start raving mad. <laughs> I see the same idents over and over, and some of them are so long. And if I see another PlayStation startup screen, I'm going to go at the screaming nab dabs. This is interesting. The music is not particularly tuneful for this, so I don't know. That makes a difference on what we can see on this visualizer. Hmm. <laughs> I'd like to see that. I just <laughs> it's obviously a bit later on. <laughs> interesting picture again. Good thumbnails. Right. Um some more stuff going on. Spiritual Star, it says. Uh, finally, we've got... Uh, I think this is something they've made, so... Just a music piece. It's an ambient sound piece. I expect he'll use that with some audio visuals. As you see, it's only got one, one like on it. Tonto Mare, like that one. <laughs> that's uh, uh so that's that so nobody's really interested in 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 elements that's the problem with it nobody's interested in elements um and jevertone is not getting a lot of views on his stuff anyway um you get the occasional 11 so this is interesting um i was on twitter today and real thomas picture posts so i decided to make a dreams version this is an interesting style it's different to the other things that he's made. Um, it looks as if he's made another one in similar style. Little castle. 
interesting. I mean, this animated would be very interesting, I think. Uh, not hard to do, I would have thought. Vector Man. Another one from Real Thomas. Dreams version of whatever he made. I don't know who Real Thomas is and what he's making his stuff in. But there we are. Just an image there. So lots of experimentation, lots of visualization of music. Um, JB Photo is a favorite of his to be making dreams out of. And the music itself is generally more ambient than distinct harmonies. It's interesting, it's like it's like experiments with physics, experiments with with colour, random randomness, all that sort of thing. The mystic tree. Okay. That's all about the effect. Um, here we have a, a cityscape. I can see progression with what's been produced. Okay, that's quite nice. A lot of Cyber City stuff recently. You can see how many m many more plays that has had compared to his normal stuff. So his normal stuff, five, three, one. Um, that had seventy. That did really well. People liked that. Um, this is called Solace Moon, and again, music by JB Photo. It's all about the effects, the light. It's all very pretty. Um, thumbs up. Cool. Big like, massive thumbs up. Cool. Big like, massive thumbs up. There we go. <laughs> Yeah, we all like a thumbs up. Um, lots of experiments. This that that that's just a bit silly. <laughs> I don't know quite what they were doing there. Uh, have, check it out. Um, there's a house animation here. Um, uh, this I quite liked. DHM weekly challenge. Um, Dreams have minis um, stream. They do a weekly challenge. I think uh, xylophone and herding was the the two words that came out of their spinning wheel thing, and uh, it's just two random words slammed together, and they have to make something over the week. And um, this is what Gemma Sonar made. Hey Bob, I see your son's back from university. Yup. Uh. What's he doing? Well, it's some new kind of xylophone herding. They're teaching them up there in the city. Ah. <laughs> but you only've got one sheep. Well, I said he was back. I didn't say he graduated. <laughs> it's a poor joke, but <laughs> it's fun. Is it, is it, I like the way that he's playing away on that xylophone and the, and the two guys standing there watching him. Okay, more music. More music by JB Photo. The Red Temple Visual Novel. Let's have a look. JB Photo again with the, with the music. It's a very nice pink of Indian Maharaja's palace in amongst these pink mountains. Quite nice. Uh, it says Bumblebook. I don't know why Bumblebook's thing is there, but uh, there we go. It looks like it's a collaboration. There we go. So Jamma Sonar did the visuals and Bumblebook did the music. And this is this is how uh, people um, get together and 
make things that are really quite cool. And this is cool. of flashing lights and everything in time with the music it's all very well done and uh, his latest thing um, is the Sprite Valley um, entering into um, the music jam to make a um, make a track by Beetle Bum I've seen a few of these about uh, this one's sort of fairyland. So you can definitely see progression with the creator here from the early stuff that he was producing to what he's producing now. And um, he's concentrating on audio visual presentations, pres presentations of music, but not music he's making, music that other people have made. So if you like his style and you're a musician and you'd like him to make a video for your music, I'm sure he's open for collabs. So there we go. Very nice. I say I'm sure he's open for He might not be. I mean, I might be overstating it. <laughs> I might be saying awful things here, but he has done some collabs in the past, so it's, it's possible. <laughs> right. So there we go. That was Jamasona. Um, with all the audio visual stuff i hope you enjoyed that random dreamer showcase it, again if you are interested in having your stuff showcased on my channel then uh, please leave your name i need your psn name not your youtube name um in the uh in the comments below and i will add you to the hat so there's no guarantee when you will come out of the hat um but uh, uh i'm sure everybody will come out at some point <laughs> Okay, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in your dreams.